Football clubs sometimes hit the jackpot with big wins and are all set to make it even bigger, but then money strolls onto the field. The promise of more cash lures them in. You have to have a top players, and three top players cost money. And what do they do? They trade away their star players. If they hadn't let those star players go, they could have grabbed trophies left and right. And of course, we start with Dortmund. The German club has enjoyed quite a bit of success. They've had some really amazing players wear their famous yellow colours. However, bigger teams with more money often come and take away those star players. Now that might sound okay for the team's efficiency, but for fans, it's like a never-ending heartache. They dream about building a super strong team that could win big trophies, but it's like those dreams get crushed by teams like Bayern Munich or other rich teams in Europe. Just think about some of these names, Haaland, Lewandowski, Pulisic, Gundogan, Gotza, Perisic, Dembele and Sancho. These are all really great players that Dortmund had, but they had to say goodbye to them. So in a nutshell, even though the club wants to do well, fans feel sad when their favourite players leave because of the money game. Speaking of similar situations, let's take a look at Ajax. Back in the 1970s and 1990s, they were the kings of European football. They really knew how to win, but in between those glorious times, things got a bit quiet for them. Then, in the 2018-19 season, something exciting happened. Ajax was like the coolest team in the Champions League, and they came so close to making it to the final. Fans were feeling hopeful, like maybe this was their moment. They had this awesome team led by the experienced Dusan Tadic and a bunch of young players under coach Eric Ten Hag. It felt like they were getting ready to shine on the global stage, but you know what happened, money showed up again. The team was truly amazing. But then Frankie de Jong went to Barcelona, Matty De Ligt moved to Juventus, Donny van der Beek joined Manchester United and Hakim Ziyech hopped over to Chelsea. These players kind of spread out the team's power. So, just like Dortmund, Ajax's journey for success met a clash with the tempting call of money. And, well, money had the final say. Turning our attention to another club, AS Monaco. Following PSG's four consecutive Liga 1 triumphs, Monaco emerged as a dominant force in 2017. Their resurgence marked a break in PSG's dominance. Anticipation was high, with pundits predicting a string of upcoming trophies. However, as often is the case, financial considerations intervened. In the summer of 2017, key players like Bernardo Silva, Timu Bakayoko, Benjamin Mendy and the standout Kylian Mbappe were all transferred. Subsequently, Thomas Lamar, João Martinho and Fabinho also exited the club. It was a series of departures that led Monaco away from the path to potential glory, all in the pursuit of monetary gain. However, the most exceptional talent of all likely resided within Spurs, and had they not let go of their star players, they might have secured the prestigious Premier League title. Speaking of money, let's count some numbers. Between 2005 and 2015, Spurs raked in a massive €486 million euros just by selling players. That's quite the bankroll. During that period, some key players like Michael Carrick, Defoe, Berbatov, Bale and Modric were sold. It's a list that carries weight indeed. Thinking about the Spurs fans, it's hard not to sympathise. Imagine had even just one of these players, say Bale or Modric, stuck around. It might have paved the way for Harry Kane to lift that coveted trophy. But then again, that's the nature of the game, full of ifs and buts. <coughs> Elsewhere, for quite a while now, Europe's leading clubs have had their eyes on Lyon, looking for the next big star. Chelsea fans surely remember the days when Michael Essien and Flora Maluda, who used to shine in Lyon's colours, graced their team. And maybe, if you're a Real Madrid fan, you would have once jumped out your seat to cheer a goal from none other than Karim Benzema, a Lyon talent. So it's partly thanks to Lyon that a constellation of talents like Martial, Lacazette, Umtiti, Benzema and Hatton Ben Arfa took their first steps to towards stardom. All in all, these stories are a reminder of how even the brightest stars sometimes shift their course due to financial pulls, a tale of clubs having to let go of their successes. But here's a really tough one. Think about Leicester fans. They had a huge victory by winning the Premier League and they would have achieved more in European leagues too, but it turned out differently. While the Foxes made an amazing £260 million by selling players they bought for just £18 
15 million pounds. Nothing huge came in terms of trophies. Kante left for Chelsea. Then in 2017, it was Danny Drinkwater, Kante's midfield buddy, who went to Stamford Bridge for a staggering 40 million pounds. Just a year later, Riyad Mahrez went to Manchester City for a whopping 60 million pounds. And in 2019, Manchester United paid 80 million pounds for Harry Maguire. These moves surely bring in big money, but they must have stung the fans who dreamt of even more victories. In a similar vein, Southampton's chances of avoiding relegation might have been better if they hadn't let go of some of their key players. In the past 10 years, the Saints have gained a reputation for excelling in two areas, crafting talented players through their academy and making really smart decisions in the transfer market. Think about it, Van Dyke, Walcott, Gareth Bale, Luke Shaw, Lalana, Tadic, Mane, these names are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the players Southampton's let go of in their history. Continuing the discussion about clubs selling their success, FC Porto stands as a prime example. They specialise in bringing foreign talent to Portugal, nurturing them and then fetching huge fees when they're sold. For instance, Danilo was acquired in 2012 and sold to Real Madrid in 2015 for a significant profit. James Rodriguez, João Matinho, Hulk, Radamel Falcao, Lissandro Lopez, Anderson and Pepe all have followed a similar pattern of Porto polishing their talent then letting them go for substantial sums. Moving ahead, continuously on the brink of becoming a powerhouse, Sevilla has mastered the art of transfers. Just one year after securing the 2007 Copa del Rey, they faced the need to part with Dani Alves and Seydou Keita. A financial crisis six years down the line resulted in the departure of Negredo and and Jesus Navas. To add to this pattern, they orchestrated the signings and subsequent sales of Ivan Rakitic, Carlos Baca and Jeffrey Kondogbia. These six deals alone brought in an astonishing 142 million euros. It's a familiar tale. When money comes into play, success often finds itself on the market, ready to be sold. Lastly, just back in 1992, Leeds United claimed the title of England's champions. In a David O'Leary era from 1998 to 2002, they were a consistent top four presence. Their remarkable journey took them to the Champions League semi-finals in 2001, where they triumphed over Milan and Lazio. Future stars like Rio Ferdinand, Jonathan Woodgate, Paul Robinson, Lee Bowyer and Alan Smith were part of the buzz, but the club's chairman, Peter Risdale, had borrowed substantial sums to elevate the club. Then, the following year, when financial turmoil swept through European football, Leeds couldn't meet its loan obligations. This resulted in Ferdinand's departure to Manchester United for a staggering £34 million and Woodgate's move to Real Madrid. This shattered the team's unity, leading to Leeds losing its stature, O'Leary losing his position and the ultimate blow, relegation. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.